This on Citizen TV. Uh, before we get to our Man Cave panel, we try and bring you some, some health, some beauty, and some lifestyle tips on Tuesdays. So today we're going to be talking about your ideal skincare routine. Uh, and we've got a beauty expert back in studio. Uh, Domiana, welcome back. But maybe for those who missed the last time you were here, you can go ahead and introduce yourself again. Yeah, um, my name is Domiana. I'm a um, skin therapist. I'm a beautician. I'm a makeup as well, makeup artist as well. Okay. Yeah. So today we're talking skin and uh, what it is that our skincare routines should look like on a day-to-day -day basis as well as, you know, when it's time to go get facials done and mm -hmm. masks done and what all that does. But let's start just generally by, I think one of the main things uh, when we're talking skincare, especially for your face, is knowing your skin type. So what are the different skin types and how does one discover that? Um, we have different types of skin types. Uh, we have oily skin. One you'll notice your face is too oily, you're shiny after you've gotten a shower. Then immediately after 15 minutes your skin is too shiny. And when you patch with a, a tissue paper you'll find that it, you have some oil. That's how you tell your skin is oily. We have very dry skin. When your skin is dry, you'll definitely tell after you get out of the shower, your skin will be too dry and you'll feel some itchiness after, after shower. So that's how you tell your skin is dry. Um, we have combination skin whereby um, you find that some patches of the skin is um, a bit oily, some patches around your cheeks is oily, around your teeth zone it's um, dry. Which is right here, Which is right, right here, yeah. Okay. That's how you tell your skin is combination. Then we have sensitive skin whereby when you shower you feel your skin is uh, very sensitive, you're feeling itchiness. When you apply anything, any moisturizer, you feel your skin is very itchy. Mm -hmm. That's a, then you tell your skin is sensitive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now when we talk about taking care of your, of your skin, this is not just a, a woman thing. Uh, men also, uh, you know, should be concerned mm -hmm. uh, for people who've had maybe problems with acne or, or, or blemishes. So this, this encompasses everyone. Do you get a lot of men at your, <laughs> at your spa who yeah. come for treatment? Yeah. Yeah, I do, I do. Men as well, because skin is it's the same. A skin for a guy is a skin for, for ladies. So I usually advise them to take the same care we take our skin care. The same, they should do the same thing. And most of men, they're, they're coming, a lot of them, they're coming and getting solution and, and discovering then they should take care of their skin every day. Mm -hmm. yeah? And when they do that, they see results, then yeah, they do it more and more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and one thing I'd just like to add as we are continuing with this conversation is uh, that you can go ahead and ask any questions you have or comments uh, to Dominiana. You can uh, go ahead and tweet at Citizen TV Kenya using the hashtag Power Breakfast, my personal handle at Joey, that's J-O-E-Y underscore Mpengi. And also I'll be reading some of your SMSs as well, so you can SMS us on 22422 as we're talking about your ideal uh, skincare routine. Now a lot of people feel like it's too expensive for me to go and buy all these products and, you know, do all of this to my face every single day. Why can't I just, you know, shower like I usually shower, wash my face with soap and, and move on. So there's the expense aspect of some of these products. What mm -hmm. do you tell someone who's worried about that? I, I would tell in the market uh, there are good products which are not so much expensive. Because when you say you use just a soap, and then you get along with your day and at the end of the day you'll get problems with your skin so what I would advise them there are so many products in the market but what you need to know is exactly what suits you so you can get products mm -hmm. whereby you can do it from home and you can get your perfect skin okay. what you need to do is you need to know the procedure and the steps what you're supposed to do every day all right, let's talk about some of the day-to-day -day, uh, steps. I see you brought some of uh, these products with you. Mm -hmm. You know, we t toss around words like cleansing and toning and all of that, but what, what's, what's the first step in, in taking care of your skin on a daily basis? And maybe you can talk to us about how many times a day this should be done because there's a, some people do it morning, some mm -hmm. people do it morning and evening. Mm -hmm. So talk mm -hmm. us through mm -hmm. that. Uh, mostly, uh, I just uh, supposed to do the routine every morning and evening, mostly when you do makeup on your face. Mm -hmm. Then you're supposed to do it like twice in the morning. First stage, you're supposed to uh, like cleanse your skin. You remove the dirt from your face using a cleanser. The reason why we use a cleanser, not a soap, is a cleanser adds um, oil in it, which when you uh, use it, it just removes the dirt. Mm -hmm. When you use the soap, eh, the soap will strip all natural oils from your skin and leaves your skin very bare. 
so you're bound to get any infection. Mm -hmm. That's why you use a cleanser. That's why you're not supposed to use soap at any given time. Okay. So the first step is a cleanser mm -hmm. and then a toner. A toner is just to soothe your skin and balance your skin tone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then after that, you use a moisturizer and a sunscreen. And you make sure you use a sunscreen. Because even when you don't use a sunscreen, then at the end of the day, uh, you're exposed to sun, then your, your skin is exposed to um, uh, that which when you use a sunscreen it's it's meant to bear to buy your skin to protect your skin mm -hmm. yeah we're seeing some images uh, on air right now of uh, uh, one of the processes that you do at your spa maybe you can talk to us about what's happening there uh, what we're doing there we are we, are, we it's a pro we are doing a procedure of a face treatment well by now we are we are applying a mask mm -hmm. and, and not a, sorry a, a scrub and the same time we are steaming okay. steaming is to make the skin softer so when you start uh, scrubbing or exfoliating to remove uh, 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 um, a dead skin. Okay. Yeah. How often uh, should one exfoliate or, or do treatments such as what we're seeing on the screen right now? Okay. After every two to three weeks, we get a newer skin. So the skin which is on top is a dead skin. Mm -hmm. So you're supposed to do after every four weeks. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to do this treatment after every four weeks. Okay. Unless you are doing a treatment for uh, acne treatment or pigmentation treatment, that's mm -hmm. when you do after two weeks. Okay. Yeah. So we're seeing steam coming out of somewhere. <laughs> it's a machine. <laughs> okay, and that's mm -hmm. a machine that's uh, going uh, onto her face as well as you said, this is an exfoliant? Yeah, exfoliator. Okay. Okay. So how long does this whole entire process take? Because I know there's there's quite a bit that, that you do here yeah. and at the end you do a face mask. Mm -hmm. So what's what's the time period of the it whole process? It's like one hour. One, one hour. hour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So there are people who feel like, uh, you know, going back to the day-to-day -day, uh, routine of what it is that you should do with your face, you were just telling us about cleansing and toning, moisturizing and sunscreen as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's morning and evening? That's that you're morning doing and evening. Things. But now evening you don't do a sunscreen, you do a night cream. Oh, okay. You do a night cream or a serum. Just it's a serum is like a treatment to your skin. After a long day, you need to make your skin brighter the following day morning. So you do a serum or a night cream. Okay. Yeah. And some people also complain about the process taking time. They think I don't have time in my day to <laughs> to do this whole routine mm -hmm. twice a day. I have responsibilities at home. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, f how long is that whole process supposed to take if you're just doing an at home sort of treatments on yourself? Okay, at home it takes like less than 10 minutes. There's a cleanser, it's in your bathroom. Mm -hmm. So it takes like two minutes, you put it on your palms, then you massage it like one minute or two, then you cleanse it off, you, you, you dump with a cotton wool uh, the toner. Mm -hmm. That takes like less than two minutes. Mm -hmm. Then uh, approximately it takes like 10 minutes to finish the whole process. So then if you think of how you're going to look the, the following day, how your skin will be glowing, mm -hmm. then definitely you do it. Yeah. yeah. So it just becomes part of your, your day to day. Yeah. Uh, routine. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm seeing uh, there's a machine there that you're using to uh, exfoliate um, yeah. based on what we're seeing on the screen. Mm -hmm. What what is that machine doing? It's a, it's a machine. Yeah, okay, it's a machine for scrubbing or for exfoliating. Mm -hmm. So there's a friction happening there between the machine and the uh, and the as a scrub mm -hmm. that you've already applied. So when you use that machine, it makes you that you f you remove all the dead skin from there from their face mm -hmm. and then you get a, a newer skin. Oh, so the friction it makes it so clean. Yeah. And remove all the traces of the dead skin or the blackheads, whiteheads. Yeah, and we do have a question that came in on the SMS. You didn't leave your name but you asked uh, how do I get rid of black spots and acne and I know that's a big problem for so many people and it's not just young people. There's adult acne as well. True, true, true. So maybe we can talk about why that happens and, and how it is that we can control those things on our, you know, uh, appearing on our face? Um, one acne, it, it, ben, it bends uh, the edge. You find that sometimes it happens because of the, the, uh, the routine that you're taking, how you're taking care of your skin. So first it depends, how, and also the cleanliness, how you're taking care of your face. So face is very sensitive part of our body. So you need to be very careful when you're taking care of your skin. Mm -hmm. That is when, when we're washing, you need to clean your hands first to make sure your clean is very your your hands are very clean and whatever you're using either it's a cotton wool or it's a panel or it's, it's a cloth you're using you make sure it's very clean because you can pick something from the cloth or from the, your hands and then you infect Trans yourself transfer that yeah, bacteria yeah. then okay. then your skin starts
start uh, breaking out. Mm -hmm. Another thing, when your skin is too oily, then you need to use products which are for oily skin to regulate the, the production of the oil from the skin. Because when you get uh, pimples or acne, it means there's blockage to your face. Mm -hmm. That means there's something happening which is not right. So you're supposed to know the procedure or you're supposed to go to a specialist to be done treatments to make your skin breathe well so that there, there's no oil blocking to your skin. And what causes blemishing, blemishes are on, on the face? Because I know there are people who once they get pimples or acne mm -hmm. will start, you know, to disturb them and, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, try and get rid of them. Is that mm -hmm. one of the causes? Yeah, yeah. one of the causes is when you get pimples, you try to, you try to poke them when they're not ready to be done. So definitely you leave a black spot. So you're, you're told or we tell, we tell our clients not to disturb your acne. Mm -hmm. Just wait for it to be ready and then to, 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 to follow the right procedure. Mm -hmm. And your, your hands must be very clean when you're doing the procedure. So focus well. on the cleanliness of it all. Yeah. So is this uh, the, the client you're seeing after you've done the exfoliating? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so what comes after that? After exfoliating, we do a lymphatic massage for face because uh, on our face we have lymph nodes whereby they have toxi toxins. Mm -hmm. So after the scrubbing and cleaning, we make sure we do a lymphatic uh, massage to the face okay. just to remove the toxins away from the face. Yeah. And now we get the skin is uh, uh, fresh mm -hmm. and then now we do a mask mm -hmm. at the end of the and the uh, massage. There are certain ingredients uh, that are, you know, in th some of these products that people use for their daily routine that mm -hmm. might be a bit harsh or harmful mm -hmm. uh, to their skin. What, what are some of those ingredients? Because I know like for dry skin you don't want to dry mm -hmm. it out even more, even more with some of the products that you're using. So what are some of harmful products we should be looking out for in um, the ingredients? Some of harmful uh, ingredients like mercury, hydroquinine, they're very strong for mm -hmm. your skin mm -hmm. and they're, they're going to do more to what you want. So it's, it's good to check when you're buying products that you don't get something which has mercury, mm -hmm. hydroquinine, which is very strong to your skin. Mm -hmm. yeah. So something too harsh, too harsh can dry out skin. your skin can as well. Your skin, yeah. Okay, tell us what we're seeing on the screen at this point. We are doing a microderma. You can see the skin is getting pale. Mm -hmm. That is a dead skin. We are trying to do a deeper scrubbing. Okay. We are trying to do a, a, a extraction using a microderma. Okay. So the pale you're seeing is a dead skin coming off. Ah. Yeah, it's a dead skin coming off. Wow. Yeah. This is so after quite, you, quite the process. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So after you get our skin, it's very smooth and fresh. Because mm -hmm. we, we remove everything, especially this time when people have gone for holidays and they come back with sunburns. Mm -hmm. These are the best treatment to, to come for or to mm -hmm. do. Someone has a question here on the SMS about wrinkles. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that falls into into what we're talking about today. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, are there things that you can use to prevent them or, or make them a little less visible, or mm -hmm. how do you how, are they treatable? I guess is my question. They are treatable. Okay. But now you you for wrinkles you need to do treatments that you do like every every two weeks. Okay. So, because the consistency will help, and also the product you're using, you for the person who has wrinkles, we can't use the same products well for a young young lady. Mm -hmm. So there are specific products used for wrinkles and fine lines. Yeah, and they're supposed to be used every every day, and then you come for a treatment every two weeks. Okay. Yeah, you do like 10 session or 15 session after every single week. Wow. Yeah, and stay Thanks. consistent with it. Yes. Uh, we've heard of people who do at-home ma face masks mm -hmm. and, you know, things just out of your kitchen that, mm -hmm. that serve as, as masks. Do you believe that those things work? Uh, you know, I've heard of, for example, uh, egg whites, mm -hmm. <laughs> oatmeal, things mm -hmm. like that to be put mm -hmm. on the face. Do you advocate mm -hmm. for that? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I would normally say it's good, but then uh, the thing is, why we the, pro the products are being processed, we get the same ingredients from the same products we are getting from our kitchen. Mm -hmm. But they go through buffing. Buffing is to get the, the products into uh, what, what our uh, skin can take. Because when you take a uh, turmeric or garlic, you mash them, mm -hmm. then you put it, maybe it could be too strong for your face. Because mm -hmm. they are not buffed, they have not reduced to the, pro the to the to what our skin can take. That's why the the products has to go to the factory and then they measure and then they get what our skin can take. That's how they package it, which is too safe. But yeah. when it is too raw, then it's too maybe it could be too strong for us, very sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. And there's no way you can measure how garlic could be 
fit for your skin. Yeah, so you might be harming yourself at you home. You might be harming you yourself at home and you don't know. No, no. If you have acne, you are trying to put something too ash for your skin, you make your skin worse. That's why I would advise if you have a sensitive or you have a cold, you just go to a, mm -hmm. to a spa or to a specialist who will really know and the products are really bathed already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it comes to steaming, what is the purpose of that? Because I know people who do steaming at home just put some hot water in mm -hmm. a in a sophuria and sort of, you know, cover mm -hmm. yourself with a towel. Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of that? The purpose of steaming is to make the skin soft because we are trying to, to remove the skin and blackheads from your skin. So we are making the skin soft and we are making the, oh, the pores to open up. So when you try to clean them, it's you are not feeling so painful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, the, the end of the procedure, we are supposed to make sure we close the pores. Mm -hmm. That's why when you open the pores, you make sure you close it by putting the mask making your skin back again to normal. Oh, so that's what the mask does. It just uh, yeah. tightens everything back together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've heard of, you know, don't go to bed with your makeup on. I mm -hmm. think that's a rule that anyone who has makeup is True. aware of. True. True. But uh, one thing that people don't often talk about is the fact that a lot of these products that you're putting on your face as makeup expire at some point. True. And you could be, you know, self-harming every day and wondering why I'm getting all these blemishes and all True. this acne because you're using products that might be expired. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can talk to us about that. Uh, yeah. when, when you go sleeping with your makeup, then you're harming your eyes, you're harming your everything. So the following, the following day, then you'll get bumps. You get, you, you're harming your skin. It's like you, you're making your skin worse and you're making your pores clog because when you put on makeup, you put a lot, you sweat the whole day mm -hmm. and then you go to sleep with the, the same makeup. The following day, your pores are clogged. So you can immediately get pimples. You can, you can start breaking out and your skin will get worse. So it's a must to wash your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And go through the the whole process yeah, as well yeah. as you're talking about yeah. cleansing it and toning and it. And toning it and not using wipes. Mm -hmm. Some girls will find Oh, you don't believe in using wipes? No, you don't. Why not? Because you need to use water. Okay. Wipes won't clean the pores better than water. There's nothing can clean yourself than water. So, warm, so you need to water? use warm water, okay. but not wipes. Okay. Yeah. Can you do both? Can you use wipes and then use the water? Yeah, or? you can use wipes first. Mm -hmm. Then now you make sure you cleanse that. Right? And if you have makeup, you have to do like, cleanse. you cleanse like twice. Okay. Yeah, so that you make sure the old traces of makeup, they're out. So the Others idea is to get leave. everything off. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. And especially the high hair, yeah, we, we, most of the time we don't clean very nicely the mascara. So at the end of the day, when you sleep on with the mascara, that's when people come getting infection and you mm -hmm. can't wear on makeup because the mascara is spoiled over the time of your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Another problem that I know particularly females have is uh, that at some point you'll start getting some bags, bags. underneath your yeah. eyes, some dark spots underneath yeah, yeah. there. What is it that we can do to avoid those? One, we, what we do is around our high head is very sensitive and there is no tissue, there are no um, bones. So the skin there is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So most of the time we get the dark circles because of the way we wash the eye area. You're supposed to dump and be careful but not mo moving a lot of your hands around the eye area mm -hmm. because it's very sensitive. It may, the, the, the darkness is caused by maybe the way you're washing and being rough on your eyes. So you're supposed to be very gentle around your eyes and you make sure you're using very gentle material on your the eye area. Right. Yeah, especially when you remove their makeup, you can use um, coconut oil is very good cleanser. Yes, uh -huh. So you just dump the coconut oil mm -hmm. and then you use a cotton, dump cotton oil to remove very gently. Mm -hmm. That way you'll protect your hair area. Yeah. And you make sure you have an eye serum which you put every day because especially when you remove your makeup, then it's very sensitive. You make sure you put something around your eyes to, for the better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, another thing that contributes to how our skin looks, how bright it is, whether it's glowing or it's dull and sort of uh, dark is uh, how much sleep we're getting that contributes, true, true. right? As well as true. what we're eating, whether we're exercising. True, true, true. How does that all, you know, fit in with, with, with the daily routines for our face? It fits it because um, as much as we, we take uh, more care when we're washing our face, using the best product and using the best brands of makeup, and then if you're not taking a lot of water and you're not taking a balanced diet mm -hmm. and you're not doing exercise, then at the end of the day, we are doing zero work. So mm -hmm. it's both in and out. Mm -hmm. So that's, I normally tell my clients to make sure you take a lot of water. Yeah. That is where you get the glow. 
-hmm. you, it's, it's like a, 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 when you're doing, when you're doing uh, the farmers are doing plantation, they, they're doing their maize and stuff. Mm -hmm. When they put a lot of water on their maize, then it comes out very glowing and very nice. The same to our skin, we need to take lots, lots of water. And watch what we're consuming as and well. We, yeah. I know so things like drinking alcohol, mm -hmm. smoking, all of that. It will drain it our skin. Drains your skin and ends up showing. So someone can look at you and say, he's yeah. looking a little dull there. True. All right, we're back with some footage from your spa. Uh, perhaps you can tell us what the process happening now is. So what we are doing, we are doing a libatic massage. Mm -hmm. On our faces, we have nodes around our cheeks, around our nose area, mm -hmm. our T-zone. So we do drainage. So we drain all these toxins away from the face. Okay. So that must, it's a specific massage done on the face to remove all toxins from there. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's when after the, the facial immediately, our clients will ask where ladies are because after you do a draining massage, you have the hardship of going to the ladies. Oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah. it's getting rid of uh, all, true, all the toxins. True, true. Wow. So quite a process here. We had someone text in, again, didn't leave your name, but was asking uh, if I have... Uh, oily skin and spots, what can I apply? And I think one thing that I'm learning from you is that it's not about one product and applying that and fixing your skin. It's about the routine that you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and much bigger than just, you know, buying a, a cream. Apply. Because I, I don't know where that idea came from where we can just go to the shop, buy a cream, and it'll fix fix everything. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's the way people believe that, what are you applying? Can I get the cream you're using? Mm -hmm. Which my skin and your skin is totally different. Yeah. You can apply the, the cream that I'm applying, by the end of the day you won't get results because your skin is off. having, your skin is totally different. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to go for a skin consultation. You go to a specialist, you get a skin consultation and you, they will know exactly what you require mm -hmm. and which products are good. Yeah. yeah. And what you're supposed to do. And then now you start doing the procedure every single day. Because mm -hmm. it depends. So when you come to the spa, when I do my part, I do like 70%. So 30% you're the one to do it from whom. Mm -hmm. So we have to do, you, you have to do your part, I do my part, then at the end of the day we get the 100% results. Yeah. So we have to work together. Yeah. Yes. It's just the same thing as I, I'm thinking about, you know, exercising and someone goes to the gym and says, I want to get rid of this part of, of my body, but it doesn't really work like that because it's a holistic system. True. true. So there's no spot actual, you know, mm -hmm. magical thing that, that happens. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we in the process of the face mask so right the now? Process now we we are applying the mask, so okay. that's the last stage. Okay. Yeah. What so is the mask, mask made of? What's, what's, what are some of the ingredients? They're the made of reju rejuvenating products mm -hmm. that are meant to tighten the skin, close up the pores, mm -hmm. and re um, um, make your skin glow. Okay. Yeah. So All we right. give it like 15, 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes with that mask on. Yeah, with that mask And then on. you wash it off? Yeah. Or is it? You massage it with water a bit, then now you wash it off. Okay. Yeah. All right. So even at home, for people who do masks at home, it's about the same amount of time. Once you put the mask, you actually put the mask on. Mm -hmm. So 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, it's 10 to 15 minutes. Sometimes... Okay. Um, clients would say I sit with I'll do my everything I'll go to watch movie and then leave on them the mask for like 30 minutes which is um, I don't think it's too safe because the mask gets too tight mm -hmm. and starts cracking mm -hmm. so at the same time you can be harming your skin mm -hmm. it's supposed to be 15 minutes at more 20 minutes yeah yeah I've heard of uh, a craze where people have uh, been putting the clay mask Mm -hmm. on, on their faces. I don't know what that actually does. <laughs> clay mask, it has a tightening effect. Mm -hmm. So for anti-aging, it's good to tighten your face. Mm -hmm. So it's very good for tightening effect. Because when you put it, you feel the skin is getting tighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And looking a, a, a lot more youthful. Mm -hmm. So the, I'm assuming the process is done now on, yeah. on her. You've, you've taken off the mask. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else that needs to be done at this yeah, stage? After or? this, we do a moisturizer. Okay. And then, because it was a day, a day, we do a moisturizer, mm -hmm. and then you do a sunscreen on top. Okay. A sunscreen as an SPF, it's supposed to be like a 30 from 30, according to our climate, yeah, it's very high, from 30 to 50. But some clients, they use like 15 SPF, which mm -hmm. is very low, mm -hmm. which still it wouldn't be helpful to you. So it should be at least 30. 30. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I always try and emphasize this, that sunscreen is not just for 
they are skinned people, it's for, it's for black people, it's for yeah. white people, it's for everyone yeah, uh, to protect us from some of the harmful rays that mm -hmm. come uh, from the sun. Mm -hmm. All right, finally, maybe you can just give us some final comments on, on just some basic skincare tips for anyone who this is, maybe this is a new thing for them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they maybe have never been to a spa to get a mm -hmm. face mask and mm -hmm. to get a facial. Mm -hmm. just, just some very basic tips. The basic tip, one, you have to go for a consultation for a specialist to know exactly what your skin needs. And then you are given, uh, you are advised what to do at home. And for, especially for men, they are taught what to do. And we normally tell them, at least for a cleanser and a sunscreen, the basic, just mm -hmm. to do that routine. Mm -hmm. Then you get the perfect skin that you want. But the t routine of every day will give you results, but not like ones of you yeah. go for a spa, you do a facial, and that, that's it. No, it won't give you results. The consistency will help you a lot. Yeah, and make it part of yeah. your day-to-day -day, uh, routine as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, Domiana. Thank you. Uh, perhaps you can share with us how people can get in touch with you if they have more questions or would like a consultation with you. If you did consultation with me, my number is 0724-233-477. You get me at uh, Westlands. Krishna Center, second floor, Record Spa. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks again for making time for us this Thank morning. You. We've learned a lot uh, about uh, skincare routines and what it is that uh, that me it means to have uh, good skin. Now, stay tuned here on Power Breakfast. As I mentioned earlier, I'm sitting in for Willis Rabu, Man Cave, uh, coming up next, talking a little bit about relationships and some of the things that may or may not have happened to you over the holiday period. So keep it here on Citizen TV. We'll be right back.